ever heard of menstrual cups? Well, think of a small cup, but it's not meant for drinking liquid this time. Menstrual cup, as the name implies, is a cup, it's a cup like silicone that is made to collect the menstrual, you know, flow. Menstrual flow has to do with menstruation. Are menstrual cups widely known in Nigeria or in other parts of Africa? I want to answer the question that talks about um, menstrual cups. Actually, today was the first time I heard about it and uh, I really don't know much about it. Its purpose is to collect fluid during menstruation, unlike tampons and menstrual pad, which absorbs the fluid instead. Pads. Reusable pads and tampons are usually discussed. However, attention is now on menstrual cups. An NGO, Action Aid, once distributed menstrual cups to girls in Malawi to reduce school absenteeism during menstruation. In Nigeria, some NGOs like Girls for Development Goals Foundation and Yagazie Foundation are also advocating the use of the cups. It is a good model, I must say because it is um, going to help the women and girls in their menstrual uh, management and also help the, the environment not to be uh, polluted or abused. But for us, we, we are using the menstrual cup, which is also another sustainable model in providing uh, menstrual support. Advantages has to do with, you know when the menstruation will come, in some people it will not sell them because of probably irregularity in the date. So, menstrual cup helps to prevent staining because it can be inserted in anticipation of the flow coming anytime. So it can be placed there. Then it also relieves the burden of one carrying about, you know, sanitary towel, sanitary pad here and there. Everybody knowing that you are on your period. And these cups last 10 years you know, which is very good for them. And it is friendly to the human body. Uh, virgins can use it. That's those from the age of menarche, even to menopause. They can use it and it will not destroy the hymen or the vaginal walls. So, and we have instructions on how to use the menstrual cup so that they can use it for 10 years. And you see, economically, it is friendly. Ecologically, it is friendly. Um, even healthy, it is even healthy and hygienic because it is a model that was um, introduced to the system by great researchers over the years to help fight menstrual poverty, which is also biodegradable, so to speak. It has to go inside the vagina. So there is the issue of irritation. In some cases, there might be pain. And we said it is reusable. If hygienic condition is not maintained, it can lead to introduction of infection into the vagina. And with introduction and infection, there can be heavy bleeding, there can be pelvic inflammatory diseases. Every cycle, you bring out the cup, boil for five minutes, you know, without uh, without detergent or soap, so that it doesn't dissolve the vaginal wall. Just with clean water, boiled, and it dries fast, and it's made of silicone, which is very friendly to the human body. Like I said earlier, it doesn't disturb the hymen, it doesn't disturb the vaginal wall. It goes in smoothly and then collects the, the, the blood. And then when it gets filled up, even with a heavy flow, a woman or a girl can still use it. And when it gets filled up, you, uh, the user will take it out, flush, and then clean, rinse with the clean water and reinsert it back. The National Bureau of Statistics in Nigeria in its 2019 report stated that almost 83 million people live below the poverty line of 137,430 naira per year. Products like menstrual cups may just be the tool to help more women and girls access cost-effective sanitary options.